after a hot stage like today, it, it is it is quite enjoyable. Once you, once you get the legs in there, it's the first step is always the hardest uh, to drop down into that low temperature. And, but uh, once you get in there, it does become a little bit more enjoyable. I think uh, that the ice bath is something very important for our recuperation. Of course, it's also very nice when it's such a hot day. You go in, it's uh, like uh, on the last climb, you look forward just to jump in the, in the uh, ice bath. Yeah, Marco does a great job. Uh, you know, it's pretty important for our recovery to have the ice bath, uh, you know, at each finish and each hotel uh, after these hot stages and it's going to aid in our recovery each day. It's good for the team and he's great morale and he's always joking so it's, it's always nice. The camper was uh, as first for me uh, for cyclocross and uh, now actually they are where I place my bikes then uh, now for the moment is their ice bath. Always when I'm there in this camper I have uh, we have some nice feelings, so it, it brings some memories back. There's always a bit of a debrief in the camper after the race. Uh, it's, it's a good moment to, uh, you know, catch, have a chat with some, uh, some of the other guys in the team, just catch up what happened during the stage. The first ice bath we take uh, mostly directly after the race, just really to speed up the recuperation. And the second one, in, in those hot days, with the ice bath you can uh, bring down the body temperature and then it feel, I, it, it's very good to fall asleep. Like for example, yesterday I went there just before sleep in the ice bath and I had even cold in the bed. 